good morning and welcome to today's vlog. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and chats and all sorts of good things. And I'm actually filming this on an evening. I was trying to, I can't do my watch. I think it's about quarter to six. We've just had our dinner. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to bring my friends with me and we're going to do some sorting out of some things. I rarely film at night, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the Valentine's bits and bobs that I've got for the kiddos and also for Stephen. We're going to um, like make them look pretty together in the bags. We're going to do some nice organising, which I know that you love. It's a very nice, homey, cosy vlog. I've got a sweatshirt on and also pyjama bottoms. And I want to say to you, the great people of the internet, there is no greater feeling than putting a mismatch outfit on at the end of the day. It's nice and snuggly. I've got thermal socks on. Never felt so comfortable in my whole entire life. Right, let's get these Valentine's stuff out and I will show you the bits and bobs that I got. Right, sat upstairs in the office where I like to keep all my bits and bobs, my secrets, my shenanigans. You are on a tripod and we will go through the bits and bobs that I've got. So every year, if you follow me on Instagram, you might remember um, that I do like a Valentine's breakfast for the kiddos. And I have mentioned it before when I did like the um, home bargains haul. Do like a little Valentine's breakfast because I want them to know that Valentine's is not just about the love of a partner. It could be about the love of like their mom, their dad, their friend, their brother, their sister. So we just do like really minimal little gifts. Um, Stephen doesn't really have any input, but it's just like something that I like to do. So I'll show you the bits and bobs I've got. You may have seen a couple of them in the Home Bargains haul, but um, I got them both one of these little bags from Home Bargains. And actually what I'm going to do is when they've taken everything out, I'm going to take back the bag and I'm going to put it in my gift box and I will reuse them for next year most probably. So in Erin's, she has got like a little love heart um, project book. She has got some Haribo hot bob, it's little sweeties. In here also, there at the bottom, there's like chocolate hearts and love hearts. I kind of split a pack each because they don't really need a million packs of love hearts. And love hearts and chocolates, there's a few of them at the bottom. Um, they've both got this little bestie card. How cute is that bestie card? And then, a fidget popper so you might have seen some of that previously but the last couple of things i got to them i saw these and they are um how much were they i don't know like a pound or something some little heart clips that i know she will love and i saw this this is in the adult section it's extra small um now i'm hoping it now i'm wondering if it's going to be too big but she will love this. Um, I think for an adult, it would be like a crop top for her. It would be just like a normal top. So just a cute couple of things. And then for Ethan, I got the same sweets. But I picked up this feather pen. And it's Harry Potter. And I got him Gryffindor because he's, he's in Gryffindor. £1.50 that was. That's such a good like stocking filler. Or if you're having a party and give it away as like instead of a party bag that's so good he will love that and the pad that he has got instead is toy story for one and he needs one extra thing to go alongside because obviously erin got the top so i might go to home bargains tomorrow and pick him sink up i have to get a present also erin's off to a party at the weekend is it her first party that she's been I'm wondering, it might even be the first, like, party that she's been to in, in a couple of years. Mm, so that'll be nice for her. So I need to get a present, so I will show you those. And also, every year, I get these. My children have got such a collection of these Easter ones, Christmas ones. I got £12.50 <clears throat> instead of, I don't know, £20. Look at her. Look at her little face. She's so happy. Got that for Erin. Look at her little jacket. <gasps> that for Erin. It hasn't got the date on. Sometimes they put the date on. And actually, I think I prefer... Do I prefer it without the date? I don't know. 
because date thing dated things kind of date obviously and then also it's nice for them to keep I'm sorry look at his hat look at his little hat look how smart he is I am obsessed and in love and these actually might be my favorite ones they've done they gouge us <laughs> so they'll get those um, they'll have some pastries and orange juice and a fancy glass and it'll be cute. But right, let me show you the bits and bobs I've got for Stephen and then I'll um, wrap these up. We don't go mad at Valentine's Day. We just get some cute little bits and bobs. Um, just some like knickknacks, just you know. So I got these. Okay, so do you see how, how much I was like in love with that? And I was like, I got these. Um, and they are, I don't want to take them out of the box. Oh, I can take them out and put it back in. They're like little Disney champagne flutes. And I just think these are great. So this will be really nice in the evening. We can get a takeaway. Because obviously we're not going to go out in the evening. Um, and we can have like a little little champagne. I think we've got some like Prosecco or champagne left over from Christmas that we didn't drink. So love that. Oh, please tell me I can put it. I'm going to do that off the camera. I'll put that back. Please don't break. And we are, as you know, we're going to a cold country. And the other day we were talking about it and Stephen was like, is it going to be cold? And I was like, it's going to be minus seven. And he was like, what? And he started to panic. So I thought, I'm going to get him some bits and bobs. So I got him some Nike knit grip gloves because, you know, he does cycling. So I thought these would be really good for cycling. And also he can take them on holiday with them, like grips. Uh, I think you can use your phone as well. You know I always have to get him some comedy socks. And actually, I didn't see any in Poundland or anywhere this year. Maybe they had them in your ones, but I've just got in some black little socks with hearts. And I actually think they're quite nice socks. He would wear crazy socks. I got him... Um, is this for a child? Is this a child's, is this a child's thing? No, it says adult. Oh my God, I've got such a massive head. It's supposed to go up. Just embarrass myself on the internet. It's supposed to go over your head. It's like a, it's a snooty thing. I'm sad that I thought something, I'm, I initially was sad because I thought I bought something that was a child. I'm now sadder that it's an adult and it just doesn't fit my massive head. But he will have like a little snooty thing. I got him this little Adidas jacket. Red, as I mentioned, I was going to get him some red stuff. I can only really find this. But Adidas jacket. And I also got him <sighs> his favourite sweets. And these sweets are really good. Because they're his favourite. And I don't like them. So it means that he gets to eat them without me tucking in. So he got those as well. So I think he's done quite nice. And obviously I've got the Only Fools and Horses card. <laughs> right, so I'm going to like kind of make all these look pretty. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to pop to Home Bargains and see if I can get one more thing for Ethan. And this, the present. And also I might, I'm either going to stock up my reward boxes, which I have, and the kids keep going, can we have a reward box? And it's not got new stuff in. And I might try and stock up my um, toiletry bag for when we go on holiday. Because that was one of my, like, little New Year's resolutions, wasn't it? If you saw it on Instagram. Right, I'll show you them when they're all wrapped. This is the paper I'm going to use. This was obviously supposed to be Christmas stuff. It's got, like, Christmas. But Home Bargain to put it in the Valentine's stuff. Oh, well, fuck you. So, i put that. And you just, uh, just as I pressed recording, you missed... Stephen going, go oh, ease me up my bit. Singing a bit of Dell downstairs. He's really getting stuck in. I think this looks really cute. This paper, I think this is like 59p. And you only got four or five sheets. I don't think it, it is such good quality. It's like so shiny. But I think I'm going to, so I'm going to put that. And then I'll put the card in front of it. And then like the um, Disney present. And Ethan, um, Stevens is in a big Marvel bag. So I'm very pleased. I've just got to write the cards. Um, and then 
as I said, I'll go to Home Argus tomorrow and pick up some bits and bobs. So there we go. That's out my little Valentine's um, treats. I think Stephen has booked me a spa day. We have not been... When was the last time? I don't know the last time I went to spa. The spa is like a Hindu. Not sure me and Steve, what me and Stephen are going to do at a spa. I think it will just be like Saturday going like... What's all this like then? What we got? What we got to talk about? <laughs> um, right, I will see you in a little bit where it will be tomorrow, and I'll be doing something else. Looking a bit fancy for a vlog. You'll be like, "Who's that? Where's Emma gone? Has she been stolen?" I had to do something with some work, so I had to put um, some makeup makeup on. So you've got me looking like this, but I am back, and we are going to stock. Well, restock the. Uh, reward boxes for the kids so if you are new here um, or you've joined since I last talk about the reward boxes the kids have a box each and every um, week on like a Saturday they go and get a treat um, they're always less than two pound they're usually about the one pound bracket and they will get it if they do you know just if their general behavior is really good during the week so if they it used to be things like getting their coats on and putting their school shoes on, getting out of the house in time for school. Now it's a little bit, <clears throat> you're not doing your homework. Um, Erin cleans out the rats uh, now because we think I might be allergic to them. I would never get rid of them. I'd rather have antihistamines till their very last day. I'm ne never getting rid of them rats. So I'll show you some of the stuff that we got from Home Bargains and if you're thinking of doing um, a reward box I will say it's really good to have a little chart and they can tick things off and get their reward at the end. So I'll show you some of the new bits and then I will show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be donating because some of the stuff has been in there for quite a long time and it's time to mix it up a bit. This is Ethan's little section, everything apart from this, this is actually going to go in his Valentine's day bag you know i said i needed one more thing so i've got this like um oh you can is it the elder wand i think i could look but that is such tiny writing that's to go with his valentine's present so i've got one more thing okay for ethan i picked up a magic snake some juggling balls these are 99p what a great present or stocking filler that is hit he will love that a little spider-man puzzle but i'm a bit sad because it's a bit a little bit ripped to so make sure you check those and um, one of these little I don't know what the heck that is but it's like a monster he'll like that that was 99p and um, some cute pencils he'll like that and also this heli launcher thing that he can play with in the garden so that's some of the new stuff that's going into his errands I am going to start to do a little bit different and I'm actually going to start to include a few like um beauty products but more tweeny things so I picked up a couple of impulses a body mist and a body fragrance and she'll love that she loves anything like that I know she will love this pad because it says I woke up like this and she will think it's really fun she just loves anything like that she's so cute Um, she's got a mobile phone now because obviously she's going to secondary school soon and she does all sorts of has little like avatars and stuff and it's always like Hermione Granger looking tired and so she'll like that. A fun like pen, a nice hand sanitizer. I thought that was really really cute. Though we've got loads of nice hand sanitizers in home bargains if you're looking for some for when you go on your travels. She'll like that as well, a magic snake and she loves like hair clamps and stuff like that. She loves anything like that. So that's just a few new bits and bobs to pop in there. Something that I'm also going to do that I was talking to the kids this morning about is um, Actually Erin was more keen than Ethan. Ethan said he still wanted like little toys But I might put like vouchers in so for example It might be a voucher that says you get to go to the charity bookshop and pick a book of your choice You can have a pound to go and spend at the corner shop just like little tokens so I think I'm going to do that as well as like a little reward because she is growing older and I do imagine when she's at secondary school she'll be like I don't want to go in the reward box and it'll be like perhaps giving stuff towards a pocket money but I've still got a few months left of her being little. There's still a few months left. So let's look what's in the reward boxes that I can keep and that I'm going to donate to kids that are littler than my big ones. <laughs> it's just so sad. 
These are the boxes. I have had them for so long, I couldn't even vaguely tell you where they're from. They're, we had them in the old, old house. We've been doing this for so long. And some of the stuff, that is going to stay, because Ethan will love that. And I know he hasn't seen that yet. But some of the stuff that might go, for example, I'll donate these Despicable Me stickers. Oh, I mean, these must be very old so they'll go to donation or like one of my friends who've got like toddlers or something what else oh he's gone off um he doesn't like ryan's world anymore so that can go as well um what else is in ethan's that can perhaps go do you know what i'm going to do with that one actually i'm going to keep that because things like this are good for airplane bags so don't tell anybody but I think I'll probably put that in his bag when we go to Disney World and that can be one of his little treats so he I will definitely keep that Erin's bag what does she want she will not want a Beano yo-yo but I know who will want a Beano yo-yo and that will be Ethan she will definitely want those for her ceiling so I'll keep those and then there's some other bits and bobs. See, that's another great one to go in. Um, another great one to go in the bag when we go on holiday. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Why am I whispering? Why am I whispering when there is no one in the house apart from the dogs? And also, it's okay to take them out of the wall box and give them to them when they go travelling. Also, I'm out of focus because I'm so terrified. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna take some of the stuff um, to put in the airplane bags, and that is gonna be a video, not in the next video, the video after I'm gonna do like a pack with me, so you will probably see some of these bits and bobs again. Right, let's restock. I'm gonna put a podcast on, and thoroughly enjoy this activity. Okay, so we've got, I don't, I'm not whispering anymore, Emma, embrace it. I'm going to put one of these in each of their bags when we go on holiday and half term. Then for when we go to Disney, they can have a little Toy Story thing each. And Ethan can have a little Peter Pan as a little plane buddy. Erin can have this cute little mini. That can go to Erin, so I need to get Ethan one. So I'm actually really pleased because that means I don't have to worry about those. And here is a bag of stuff that I'm collecting for holidays. So you, my friends are gonna go in there. Excellent, to be featured in another video. Here is Ethan, so he has got so much stuff, I am really surprised. So he will be absolutely thrilled. That needs to go for his Valentine's present, so we'll take that out. And then he's got all sorts of bits and bobs, so this should hopefully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, this might even take him till, um, till summer, maybe? I don't know, but I did find this. There's another Harry Potter pen here. My name's Emma and I collect Harry Potter pens. Um, so that'll be great for him. Erin hasn't got as much stuff, so I'm definitely gonna make her some vouchers. She's got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 things, so. She's got like um, sprays, uh, pucker pops, some like press on nails, grit, some notepads, um, these galaxy things which I've mentioned. Over here is a pile of stuff to donate and give to little kids. So that'll be cute. Um, the Ryan that you know they used to love collecting all these, but they've just grown out of it. And here are some stickers that were in Erin's, and she doesn't want them. I'm having them. I want the plant stickers, and I'm gonna have the puppy and the kitten stickers because quite frankly, that one there looks like Lucy. And I need that in my life. So, mummy gets a treat as well. That's going in mummy's bag. I cleaned out the inside of the boxes. And I'm just going to chuck. Every oh my gosh, my little boy, Ethan. Is so I can't tell you guys, he's such a nice little boy. And he's going to be so excited that there's all new stuff in here. Like, he'll be really pleased. I'd say 99% of this was from Home Bargains. And I'd say... Most of it is a pound or under. Actually, I think that might have been from Powerland. There's all bits in here, and if you just like, I, I usually like give them 10 seconds. And I'm like, right, cut it down. You 
get you want you want to have a good look through. He'll be so pleased. Do you know what? I'm gonna um transfer that to, to my girl's pile. His done. And then hers, as I said, I gave it a bit of a clean, it was all dusty. Be interesting to see what she picks when she goes in. Uh, you, can never, you, can, you can never tell, but I think she will be excited by the, sp the sprays. I think that she'll like that. And we're actually going out, going out later. Maybe I might get a couple more things, but hers is looking a little bit more sparse. But that for her would be like the dream. That'll be like the dream little talk, like you know, little gift to her. She will just, I cannot begin to express. She'll love it so much. She'll like, oh, she, you know, oh. It's just nice, isn't it, when you're like that age and you're starting to like all, you know, she loves her clothes and grips and uh, it's just like a real joy. And then my boy's the other end of the spectrum, like he loves going to like Smith's Toy Superstore and um, having a mooch around there with his, like for his Pokemon card. So I'm really looking at the moment, I'm experiencing like, Still got the kiddo and then got the tweenie, so I'm very, very pleased. But also another thing I found, when are you are going to watch this? You're watching this tomorrow, so it's Saturday, so you can still get it. Home bargains, guys. We've got Disney mugs. They have three different ones. The one I didn't go for because I just thought, I can't, there's, I've not got much, my house is full of mugs. But I still went for two. I'm not a fool. They had these cute Valentine's mugs. So there's a Mrs. Can you see her? Mini, Mrs. There's a mister. So if you are a mister and a mister, you could get two misters. If you're a missus and a missus, you could get two misses. If you're just a mister, get one by yourself. I love them. So cute, quite small, but really cute for Valentine's, for Galentine's, anything like that. I just thought there was such good value. And then the other mug was adorable, but I didn't get it. It was really, 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 really small um, Mickey and Minnie mug, but it would be perfect for kids' hot chocolates. So if you're thinking of getting your kiddo a little present, definitely pop to Home Bargains and get one of those. I just walked in. Somebody actually tagged me, I think, on Instagram. And when I walked in, I was like, <gasps> so, so, so excited. So there we go, guys. A little cute kind of... Um restocking organizing video as i said in the next week or so i'm going to be doing like a compact with me i'm also going to do i haven't filmed yet but i want you to help me choose my outfits because we're going to a cold country i've never really been to a really cold country before i've been to countries when it's been cold but not a specific cold country we're not skiing imagine me skiing just pause just let's all stop imagine me skiing no the world doesn't need that. You've been framed, maybe. The world doesn't need that. I will not be skiing. Any tips? Um, loads of people on Instagram told me to get, like, hand warmer things. So I've got some of those. They've arrived today. So that is good. But I'm going to get you to help me work out what the heck to wear. Right, I'm going to edit this video so you can watch it tomorrow. Put those in a bag to donate. Put those um, where the kids... Oh. He's going to be so excited. I know the first thing he's going to do in the morning is run in and go, can I go to my reward box, please? I know he is. And that brings me joy. There's just the little bits and bobs that these kiddos love. It's just so cute. So, I love you lots. I'll be back in a few days for another video. Also, loving the community and the comments at the moment. Having the chats, especially on the Disney video. So, if you did watch that, thanks so much. You left a comment. I oh, just... Love talking to you lot. So any top tips for cold countries, chat to me about anything. I will see you in another few days. I love you lots. Have a fab weekend. Bye, guys.